you. That's uh, an award worth having. And thank you for remembering. You know, Peter and I have known each other since we, well, we both had dark hair. I actually had hair. So <laughs> how long ago that was. And I want to thank you and the board for this award. Of course, the other winners, uh, distinguished chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Judge Kriegler, and others. Uh, Bill Press, of course, I've known forever. And it, it was interesting coming in here, thinking of Chuck Manette, and I was talking to many of you about that. Chuck and I knew each other way, way back. A man of enormous interest uh, across just about every discipline there was. I, I, I joke that um, his memory, he, he never forgot anything. I'm delighted his daughter-in-law, Nicole, is in my staff, and she and Dan, of course, wonderful parents and about to become uh, parents again. Though they're now doing it two at a time, which is, I guess, the new routine of speeding things up. But... Um, Chuck and I would get on the phone, and we started laughing so hard because we'd be sad gossiping. We forgot exactly why we were calling, and then one or the other of us would say, if they're tape recording this, neither one of us can show our face for a week, and we'd laugh, but it's worth it. And off we would go again. So when I think of Chuck's family, both Marcel and I have thought of this with Kathy and Michelle and Dan and Tim and Nicole has kept us posted during the time. I, You know, you think of somebody like Chuck Manette and a grown-up. Bob Livingston and I were talking about this earlier, and, they, and Bob was Republican chairman of appropriations over in the House. We would work all the time, and Tommy Boggs was a classmate of mine, Bill Brock, I served with. When I came here, uh, we had grown-ups that would sit down and talk with each other and work things out. And Chuck's uh, commitment to democratic principles is leadership of the National Endowment for Democracy, the National Democratic Institute. Uh, IFS is work as an ambassador. These are the reflections of people no matter whether they're Republicans or Democrats, who actually care about our country and care about our values and care about what makes America great, not bumper sticker slogans, but the real hard work of bringing people in a country of 325 million people diverse across every single spectrum and bring them together for the betterment of humanity, you know, We've got to go back to those kind of days. And we have to remember our humanitarian background as a nation. In the return of the Senate Russell Building this week, I saw a striking exhibit of photographs on Sudan supported by IFAS. I was reminded of the work IFAS has done in some of the most remote places in the world. Look at the dramatic changes we face today in the Middle East, North Africa, South Sudan, Afghanistan, Iraq, Haiti. It's a long list. But this is where we can help. We have wonderful principles in this country. Let's live up to our own principles, but then let us help other countries who aspire to those principles. We are a great nation, but there are many, many other nations with people who aspire to greatness and wonderfulness, and you help them. And so I've spoken too long, but I just was here to say thank you. Thank you very, very much.